doing the look. Here to tell us about the pageant that celebrates diversity and multiculturalism in New Zealand is Megan Alatini, Bola Harpresh and Andrew Bicknell. Welcome team. Thank you. We all know you, Megan, so I'm not going to ask you anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me about this. What's it all about? Oh, thank you for having us today. Um, uh, Diversity Oceania is about celebrating being a Kiwi and giving everybody the platform. Doesn't matter what size, all nationalities, all sizes, all shape. And just celebrating, you know, able to celebrate our culture in New Zealand, mm -hmm. it's amazing. And saying thank you, New Zealand, for the amazing opportunity mm -hmm. for us to be able to celebrate our culture in New Zealand. It's amazing. I love the sense yeah. of irony here because you're using something you know, like a beauty pageant, okay, which is just so wrong. And I so know. such a fight to celebrate multiculturalism and diversity. It's quite nice, the irony there. It's yeah. almost a good joke. And that's the motto. That's, that's our aim. It's just celebrating diversity of culture in New Zealand. Yeah. And across Oceania, that's where the Oceania is coming from. We have contestants coming all the way from Australia to be part of it. Really? Yeah. Boys and girls. And boys and girls. Yeah. That's got to yeah. be a good point of difference. Totally. Yeah. And I love the irony that you talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, to be honest, I haven't really been a fan of pageants. I know. Because, you know, yeah. there's a st stereotypical look that defines pageants. So when Bolo approached me and said, hey, Megan, I've got this idea. You know, I want to have this pageant with girls from all nationalities living here in New Zealand. And guys, what do you think? And I was like, hmm. I'm actually all about the upliftment of women and people in general. So if it means that we're celebrating the person inside and out, then yes, I'm for it. Because in the past, it seems that pageants can... Um, really, it's a competition about the exterior. But this is about you, your inner your outer as well as your culture and I'm all for that. So how do you judge something like that or is that kind of secondary? Anyway? Well, to be honest, like, on the night, even the consistent don't know this, they're all going to be having tiara. Yeah. You know, just to make them feel good that... Oh, they know now. But they know now. Can they get sash as well? well because, you know, you want to say Mr. Something or another? Yes, we can get all that. Right, I'm right, I'm wrong. Sorry, I'm... Um, yeah. It is so hard to judge. It's a Facebook competition. Yeah. But it's so hard to judge because it when is. you've got this diverse group of people, mm. really, what is the winning factor? And I think that's what makes it really exciting because people always say it's anybody's game, but you kind of have a fair idea of who will win in certain competitions, and this one, we don't. And beauty, because beauty is very much in the eye of the beholder. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Andrew, what's your role here? You're going to be snapping away, are you? Well, my role is uh, partly to help the participants bring out their particular beauty because I'm interested in, in photographing people as energetic beings rather than physical beings because mm. I think we are energetic. What do you mean by that? Well what I mean is that, that we originally came from energy and we'll probably presumably go back to energy which means we just borrow a body for a little while but we're really energetic people and uh, mm. most people are not aware of their energy. I like to help make them aware of it and that's the real intrinsic beauty of a person is in their in their own unique energy, so that's what I try to capture in my photography. How do you do that? <laughs> I suppose it's a sensitivity to people's energy, and you just become more and more sensitive the more you think about it and the more you want to capture that. And, and frankly, it's been very interesting photographing this group because they're very aware of their energy. And we probably didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thailand um, with the lovely costume. Yeah. Is that an important part of it as well, the, the cultural dress up as well? Yes, um, because that's the goal, we're celebrating our nationalities, our culture in New Zealand and saying, being Kiwi, it's amazing. I'm a Kiwi, I'm proud to be Kiwi mm -hmm. and I want to celebrate my culture in New Zealand, my background in New Zealand and that's exactly what um, one of the criteria. So, our uh, Jane is just wearing something from Thailand, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, which represent peace, joy, and happiness. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. That's good. Is there a, is yeah. there any speaking role in this? Do we yes, get to find out more about different countries where people's ancestries from? Or yes, else? Yeah. there will be. That's one of the first thing they do in the evening of the event. So when they come on the stage, introducing what they're wearing, they'll yeah. talk about what it represents, their costume, mm -hmm. and everything. So yeah, they will be. I can yeah. see a guy waiting in the wing there. <laughs> on you come. Bring us now. Go New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. So we've got lovely Shane representing yes. New Zealand. 
Yeah. Yeah, go oh, back. Yeah. I think what I love about this show is it's given all of the contestants as well as us yeah. the opportunity again to learn more about your culture. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times they don't have the opportunity to wear their dress. And this time it's important to go back to your whānau and say, what does this mean to you, to me? Because yes. sometimes they just don't know. And I love that um, integration. Yeah. Let's keep the models coming out because we're dying to see you all. Yay. And then we've got Anita Prasad representing Fiji and partially from India as well. So mm. she's got bolts. Um, yeah, what she's wearing to represent Fiji. Okay. Yeah. And it's up to each individual contestant to put their own look together. That's right. And sort all of that out. Yeah, and that's why it was a kind of a... It's not really a pageant per se. And that's why I was saying multi-culture, celebrating our diversity. So it's kind of a fashion show incorporated yeah. pageant. Because mm -hmm. they're showcasing what they love to wear for the... You know, what they have in their... In their wardrobe for a while, and we got here. And we've Mr. got Alistair. Mr. Alistair representing South Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking good. How many okay. contestants have we got? We have 25 contestants. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah. we've still got none wow. waiting in the wings. Come on out. Yeah. Oh, and this girl will be working. She working. Is working. Yeah. 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 Well, you just won. And, <laughs> and we've got Ashley all the way from Hamilton representing Zimbabwe. Beautiful. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. And I think I think we are celebrating our cultural diversity more and more, and in, in even larger ways. When you think about lantern festivals and Diwali, that's right. And yeah. It's a great thing, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah, and that's why we want to bring everybody together in one particular occasion. And this is, you know, born in New Zealand. We create this in New Zealand. Exactly. And we've actually got a lot of people coming from United States, UK. Australia. Yeah, world. Well, want to do yeah. want to do the same thing? Because where can right. people come and see it? Well, the event is an Ellerslie Event Centre at Racecourse, which is on the 12th of November. Mm -hmm. So, tickets is available online. No, and you, Megan, there's a charity angle. We don't do anything unless it's for charity, do you? Absolutely. As soon as Bola said, would you like to be a part of this? I said, yes, I'd love to. And what is the feel-good factor and how can we give back? <laughs> so, I'm really proud to say that they have chosen the Child Cancer Foundation yeah. uh, for the profits to go towards um, our young kiddies there, which is fantastic. And they've also vouched to make a donation to start as well. Fantastic. Yeah. I love you keeping your hair short. <laughs> 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 just into a round no, you're gorgeous. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. All the best. Now, for more on the diversity Oceania pageant or to win a double pass, just head to our website. Coming up, financial fraud seems all too easy for these 10 Graham Bell is here with tips to keep your cards safe from crims.